Archaeologists dig up Samori's jar filled with over 200,000 bronze coins. The fortune of a Japanese samurai was found by archaeologists in the Saitama prefecture near Tokyo in August of 2018 and has been named the largest haul of medieval coins ever found in Japan. The coins were found in a large two-foot-wide ceramic jar dating back to the 15th century. The copper in the bronze coins found inside has turned bright green due to the natural oxidation process of verdigris. The jar had been buried over six feet deep possibly to hide the warrior's riches which were in danger due to the civil unrest in Japan at the time. The coins which have an opening in the center, were strung on rope and included a few varied coins from China's Ming and Tang dynasties. In total the archaeologists who found the hoard believe there are over 100,000 coins but a wooden tablet buried along with the coins, including the Japanese words, Niyaku Rokuja for the number 260 could refer to the measurements of 260 can which are units of 1000 and would identify that there are 260,000 coins in the jar. According to Gainsvelloins.com, a string of 1000 coins was worth one ounce of silver and was a common amount to keep on one's person. During the time when the coins were buried the country was divided and ruled by an emperor who gave conquered lands to the shoguns, military leaders. The Muramaki period from 1333 to 1573 AD refers to the Ashikaga Shogunate which saw a war between Ashikaga Takeji and his brother Tadeyoshi that lasted for two years with Ashikaga Takeji emerging as the victor. It was at this time that most of the rules for samurai behavior were enacted. The samurai were an elite guard of soldiers that swore their lives to the daimo, a sort of land-holding military governor for the area in which he lived. They held bravery, honor and personal loyalty above their own lives and would commit seppuku, a ritual self-disembowelment, rather than suffer dishonor. They were identified by the two swords presented to them by a military leader and were well paid with special perks. With all of the civil unrest as demos began feuding with each other the warring state period from 1467 to 1568 AD was a time of fighting, murders and deceit among Japan's rival daimo warlords and samurai over who would become the next shogun, a member of the Hosokawa family or a member of the Yamana family. Since the power of the shogun was diminished during this time it really didn't matter and may have been an excuse for the over-aggressive daimos to flaunt their power. There were no victors and nothing was accomplished after it was over although the ordinary civilians were subject to lawlessness, brutality and extreme hardship. Some good came from this period as slavery was almost completely abolished and art and architecture flourished as warlords began building castles to protect themselves from invasion. They were placed at mountain passes and on large estates with moats and other medieval protections. Omi Hashomon Castle near Lake Biwa in Shiga Prefecture drew enough people that a small town was established around the castle. The Japanese tea ceremony was popularized at this time by Buddhist monks and the Zen religion brought out artists such as the Zen priest Seshu slash Toyo, whose works are still considered some of the best art to come out of Japan. Ancient Yu tells us that when the warlord Oda Nobunaga began conquering different parts of the country, he eventually was able to take their capital, Heianko, in 1568 AD and exiled Ashikaga Yoshiaki in 1573 AD. Nobunaga helped to unify central Japan until his death in 1582 AD and his efforts were carried on by his successors, Toyotomi Hideyoshi who ruled from 1537 to 1598 AD and Tokugawa Ieyasu who was shogun from 1543 to 1616 AD and began to open trade with the West. The coins are now on display at the Saitama Prefecture's cultural treasury in Kumagaya. 